Hello everybody, I'm Zerd and we're going to do today's daily challenge. I'm really excited for Operation Fire Mother. It's an awkward name. I'm excited we've got Reapers and Andromedons. And you know, obviously never taken the control of an Andromedon because I've never done multiplayer or anything like that before. But we just got two Reapers and one Andromedon, which uh, seems a little light on the whole squad thing for me. I'm not really sure how that's going to go down for me. Probably, probably not well. Um, and we're up against Nightmares, which I think are those little black bug collective creatures that kind of scatter into pieces and reappear and clone your people and yada yada. I'm pretty sure that's a Nightmare. I'm not even positive, to be honest. Uh, and all we have to do is raid a train. It seems reasonable enough. Tough guy is almost at 25,000. Um, we'll see how we do, I guess. Let's jump right in there. But no, I want to apologize that you have a, like, a coffee flavored like hard candy in my mouth and it is just delicious and it's taking forever to go through it so i apologize you have to sit there and listen to me but i refuse to spit it out just try to keep quiet so you have to suffer train are locked in move to secure eliminate all hostiles okay so this is just a supply raid i'm really I'm curious to how many of them there will be since there's only three of us. But we got Reapers, which I'm, like, I'm pretty excited about. Train seems to be that way. Where's our boundaries? Okay. I would like to obviously get up here, but I want to do it safely. I will go. So let's just see what all we can see around this way. Near and concealment. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, this seems relatively safe. Let's just put you up. There, I suppose. Yeah. As you order, Stealthy as could be. Never hide from me. What did we find? One over there. Trying to hide away in the corner. That could work out poorly. I will go. Could get flanked and kind of pinched off. The target is He's just, he's just in there. Love it. So it's not just nightmares, there's a sector. It must just be the main theme, really. All right, let's see what we can do to get others up here. Andromedon will probably just be our main guy. We have Sting. Come back. We have Sting, Fire Shot, Wild Shadow Form, guaranteed to remain in shadow. Otherwise, it's nothing too crazy. Claim more, which we might start off if these guys are grouped up well. It doesn't have a giant radius to explode and that's no joke it's it's tiny i overestimated it in one of the episodes i did the other day and it's, yeah, it was disappointing either way it's probably how we'll start this off maybe not it's hard to say but i like having two people that are gonna remain in concealment or at least ideally remain in concealment mr andromedon i want to leave you in high cover i want to put you somewhere that's useful they're walk out and you probably won't be able to sit there. So why don't we just keep here? I'll watch closely. And we're looking at attacking these people next turn, presumably that they are still standing in one place. Right next to each other. There's only three of us, so we really gotta make this work the best way we can. So with that in mind, we have to have the other person claim more because we're gonna have to stick it right in between. But never mind, fair enough, that looks just fine. I'll leave this here. Yes, I'd do just that. In worst case scenario, we can get the Andromeda up there and take a shot from far away if we were to need to. Can you not see that? Okay. Cause that would be a problem. So a healthy amount of damage to the sec. But that nightmare is my main concern. Look at him doing all kinds of crazy voodoo. He opened a door. No hands. Alright, so he's in a spot I don't really care for. In the slightest. We can't even see him. We have a decent chance of killing him. What does your acid bomb look like? Do you have one? Or is it a cooldown? It appears to be a cooldown. You don't seem to have to get much closer to use it. Uh, my only concern right now is moving him up to bomb him. Will that uh, might reveal somebody. We got lucky. No punishment for that. 
Let's see, so you don't go through walls. You have to put it in through the door. Fair enough. It means it's probably not going to blow up in the wall. But he might just uh, acid it up if this doesn't know you're immune. <laughs> this is how you learn things. The hard way. Well, I guess... I guess we should try to take the shot, I suppose. With the plasma rifle? Well, that's good to know. It sure is. Shadow Lance. That's actually a pretty cool name. Alright, move on. It's too much time thinking about it. Let's see what this guy does. He disappeared. Hmm. Not gonna lie, not super keen on what just happened there. My life is in your hands. Alright. Who are you? Uh, okay. So he's not gonna shoot out of concealment. I imagine you're not gonna shoot out of Overwatch either. Okay. Yeah, let's just see what we're doing. There's not really a turn limit or anything. Let's um, let's get you up here so you can get a bonus to shoot. We know there's no point in wasting the acid bomb. Ugh. That's all right. We're doing all right. We're doing more than all right. This guy doesn't want to move. I doubt we're long shot him. I just want to see if this guy's going to run back. Um, really, there's a good chance. It's wasting our turns, which means it's wasting our score, I believe. And I'm sure we're going to get scored based on supplies, too. But I want to know, what else is that guy out here with? We might not really be in a good spot to see, though. Moving as ordered. Luckily, their detection radius is so tiny. All right, similar pod. Let's uh reload. I'll watch closely. Okay, so you can't even see him from up there. This guy remains sighted because of an ability they have, which is really fantastic. Sandman, uh, let's see what you can do. Five to six. A crit would be fantastic. By golly, he did it. Nice. I saw the Andromeda up there. I thought it was an enemy pod, but we were looking at them. It's like, oh crap, now there's an Andromeda we have to fight. No, no, Observed it's fine. Worry not. No chance there to kill. Or there. Let's see. Ugh, that's a real shame because this ass bomb, which is up by the way, has no chance to really do anything. 9 to 11 is quite the possibility of killing him, I believe. And I'm a lot less concerned about him. Also, ah, you dirty dog. Also, I wonder if he dies if we're going to control his AI form as well, if it's more automatic. I'm not positive. This is not going to kill him, which is a real shame. He's probably going to make us pay for that. There's not anything we can do about it as far as I know. I can't, I hate counting this. I want my pots back. Maybe they work now, I don't know. That's the best chance scenario, no chance to crit. All right. If anything, it should make him easier to kill next time, if he is to take somebody over. Great job rolling max damage. If we didn't get that graze, things would be really nice. Where'd your friend go? I want your friend to come back. Double move, which is odd. So where did that guy go? He was going to just pop out of nowhere something nasty. I don't think we can scout for invisible people anymore, which is, you know, it's reasonable. We might as well kill this guy, I guess, stop wasting time. Whoa, that hit! Also, did he not have 10 health? 
these guys are in concealment, maybe I should have them shoot. Because I don't think they're going to shoot in concealment. I was very cautious with these pods, considering there's only three of us, and if that could change very quickly, I'd be very sad if it did. Let's see what happens when we move up a little bit. Yeah, see now, objective points are a lot less. So I can't really just spam turns like I you know, would if this was a real campaign. But it's not a real campaign, so that's all you know important to keep in mind as well, I think. I will reposition. Uh, I didn't really want you to go there, but that's fine. I probably should be moving you up. So I know there's one guy there. We know there's one guy somewhere. Let's just keep an eye out. I see everything. Hmm. Move up with you. Perfect. There's got to be at least three pods, I would imagine. I cover that you can run to. I'm trusting you. We're not having really sight of anybody. I know this guy went somewhere. No also, close. that invisible guy must have just ran. I'm not really sure what his, I'm at your service. you know, AI is to do in that situation. I don't, I don't understand. Him. Don't understand how they work. Alright, there's the one guy we were looking for. There is nowhere to hide. There is nowhere to hide, that's great. Um, we don't have to really hide though, he's put himself in a rather terrible position. Yes, run, destroy things. 99% chance is a I like that. Burp, 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 burp. Alien speak, I don't know what he's saying. I imagine something along the lines of suck it and die, but it's hard to say. Let's get up here. This is, these things block a lot of vision. Alright, let's go say. So let's see what it is we have to do with. He has a buddy somewhere. I imagine he's back here where we can't see him. Just presumably. And we still have that one nightmare hiding too, so I cannot forget about him. You will see him if you move up here. It's probably just easier for me to look this way. So if you go this way, which you will, you will just walk right through that. Not care. I walk right through that. Let's um actually have you. I just really want to make sure that you don't somehow set him off by walking through crap. I really don't trust the line of sight indicators as much as I probably could. You're gonna have to reload next turn. You keep tight. I see everything. Let's move you up slightly to try to get a better look at the situation yeah. this way. I wouldn't hate getting you back up there. I'm very intrigued to find <laughs> that guy's gotta be around here somewhere. I mean he doesn't have to be, I guess I guess he could be anywhere. But I have convinced myself for no reason whatsoever that he is not right behind us. So you cannot run. Luckily that does cost a turn. Dramadon says hello with his last shot. No. They are not receptive to the message. That's right. Who wanted to get a jump on that guy anyways? He just freaks me the hell out. Okay, so the days of consumer are Probably about over. 100% should have a crit chance. We're talking 5 to 6. Mm, we're not going to be able to do much with the Andromeda, unfortunately. He has to reload. Uh, bombing otherwise is just not going to do it. Let's reload and see what his shots are. Because we got somebody in high cover. Somebody who's not in high cover. Somebody who's not in high cover. So I want to see what it looks like. 9 to 11, you might just be able to straight out kill. I am for that. Thank you. Thank you for delivering on that. Fantastic. I prefer him to be in high cover, but it just wasn't going to happen this turn. 
Let's see, I could move him over. But opening up that... Yeah. Right now they only know about their Andromeda, right? You could also try to blow him up with this and blow up his cover. That's not a terrible idea. It's not, I mean, I'm not saying it's my best idea. Can we just straight throw it on the cactus? Soon our prey will fall. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. I don't really want to move him, especially if it's going to break consuming, because there could be a fourth pot. I don't, I really don't know. I'm just assuming you can't see that. Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's a load of horse. Uh. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm calm down. Don't have to be really pissed off about it. I know you want to be. I really want to be. Okay, so if you move, you're out of consumer too. Uh, so, realistically, now, I can't crit and kill him with both people. You actually have a rather fair shot. Because uh, you have a good angle. And bonus rapid range. I don't understand that. Focus. So you have a really good chance of hitting him, but you're not going to crit. So best case scenario, we do about this much health. So we're not going to kill him, right? Is what I'm getting at. We do have a chance to kill this Ectoid. It's a rather good chance between the two of us. Uh, let's sting him. I don't really want to reveal. And then at least, at the very least, we have only one enemy up. We don't know what he'll do. But between the three of them, they should be able to kill him one turn if he disappears. I'm assuming he's going to disappear. It's what they like to do. I don't want you to reveal either, though this guy might be happy to do it. Now you're going to let me shoot it? He's not even going to be there later. Ah. Oh, now you're just going to let me shoot a period. This wasn't an option before, I swear. Otherwise, I would have taken this up, blown it up, and seen if I could have gotten a crit. Since he's out of cover, we have a chance to crit. Uh, it probably wasn't the better, probably wasn't the better idea, anyways. Anyways, rather good chance to kill this guy. Knock on wood. Just be done with him. I like that thought. Enemy kill. All right, let's see what he does. I imagine he'll disappear. We might have to wait. No, no, no. He's gonna now use that information he only just learned about. She will presumably take her body. Nope. He's gonna freak out and retreat. Without a claymore to destroy that cover, and I'm kind of upset. You're not gonna be able to. F oh, you can flank. I'm fantastic. That's great news. This might be your last guy. This could be the end of the challenge. I'd be very happy to see that happen. What does punching do? I know there's no targets of it. Well, tell me about it. Excellent chance here to do some heavy damage. Nine. It's not phenomenal, but I'm still happy to see it. So you've been spotted. That's kind of just fine, really. It's really just fine. This jumpy over here gets you close, and you're technically in high cover. Though it wouldn't take much to take that away from you. If we crit, we might be able to kill him right out. We did crit. No killing. So you are probably never... Yes, yes, we know. You're probably not going to be able to get in a spot. You can more or less ignore that. Let's put you here. You are to obey. My order is to murder. 80% please succeed. That would make me quite happy. Fantastic. Is that it? Are we done? It would appear so. Hey, that's flawless in my book. Yeah, we could be doing better on the time, I agree. Objective's complete, with nothing destroyed. Only granting me 4,000. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. It's only 400 points. Huh. I'm very confused about how someone was able to score 9,000 points better than me. The only thing I feel like I could have done better, really, was the time. 
I mean, I guess I was getting a lot less points because I took a lot of turns. I did turn spam. So maybe that was the majority of it. So let's see what the leaderboard says. Where am I placed? 191. Fair enough. Yeah, this guy it says they're completing it in two and two and four minutes. So I guess that's the key. I mean, it makes sense. What did I spend? Uh, it doesn't say it says zero minutes, but according to this, we spent almost 11. So maybe that's really the gist of it. Either way, I'm still really happy with it turned out. I feel like I am getting better with this, despite the fact that I'm much, much lower than I was. Uh, perhaps it's just an easier one and I never thought it. I don't know. But thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself, and I hope you have a great day. See you tomorrow. Take care.